Just a quick video for you on how I've configured the idle up functionality on my copter. Um, the issue is that when the throttle hits zero, the uh, I term zeroes out. Even if you have PID at min throttle enabled, uh, so the copter may not maintain stability as much uh, when you hit zero throttle as it ought to. An idle up function keeps the throttle just barely off the uh, the zero point, and uh, and allows you to maintain much better authority at low throttle or zero throttle than otherwise. Uh, and I, the way I've done it uh, still may, allows you to maintain full stick uh, travel range when you're not armed. Whereas the I, I used to have it done in a way I won't go into the details, but it would keep the stick from going to zero when the stick when the switch was disarmed, and I would use stick arming. Uh, but there was a little bit of it was just weird because when the switch was in one position, the throttle was always at zero, and then you couldn't use the stick, for example, to adjust your OSD. You would have to flip the switch to the to the armed position, except the throttle wasn't armed or the copter wasn't armed because you were using stick arming. But maybe it was armed, and it was kind of confusing and ambiguous, and I didn't like it. So here's what I've done. Um, by the way, I apologize that I'm not using the uh, the simulator on my computer to show you this. I'm actually just holding my camera in front of my uh, in front of my Tyrannus. But there you go. I've got two lines for the throttle on my input. Uh, one of them is a normal throttle line, and it's tied to my switch SF, which is this switch. It's uh, typically the throttle hold switch. Um, when it is in the throttle hold or disarm position, uh, the throttle works normally. And when it is in the armed or not throttle hold, if you're used to fixed wings position, the throttle has a curve and it's, it's just diff 11. And what that does, you'll see if you watch right over here as I flip the switch, it just bumps the bottom up slightly. And that prevents the throttle from going to idle. So if we look in the receivers tab here, if you watch the throttle line, you'll see that as I flip the switch, the throttle goes to 1055 and will not go lower. So it's going to run from 1055 up to 2000. When I flip the switch to the uh, safe position, the throttle goes to 1000 to 2000. Um, and then what I've done is in my modes tab, I've just got modes set up for stick arming, or uh, not stick arming, for switch arming, for aux arming. And I've put that onto an aux channel. As so, just uh, normal. To put, I've put that switch onto an aux channel right there. And so what happens then is that when I flip that switch, it arms the copter and it forces the throttle to never go below 1055. When I flip the switch the other way, it disarms the copter and it allows the throttle to have the full range of motion so that when the copter is disarmed, for example, I can still manipulate my OSD or input stick commands like calibrating, uh, running gyro or accelerometer calibration and so forth. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Happy flying.